Yeah, yeah go ahead. Sure. Minute 54 left in warm ups. As you can see, we're not in an elevated position. We're, believe it or not, this is the best place to film because we're in rink two in Andover. So it is what it is. It's got ice level action here tonight. Going on at the same time as this game, Centennial's playing Blaine. The reason why that's important is if Blaine wins, that game, they will win the district. If they lose and Elk River wins tonight, then Elk River wins the district. So some moving parts this evening to see who wins. District 10, Bantam AA Hockey, at least for this district. So district 10. First things first though, Elk River's gotta take care of business.
啊。This isn't so bad. A little uh, ice level action here tonight. You can see both nets, that's what matters. Corners are going to be a little tough to see. Warm ups have completed. We should be starting soon. Kind of a milestone game today. Last game of the district. Final game. Yeah. Yeah. With the W and some help from Centennial, well, they can claim the district championship. An automatic bid. Right. You don't yeah. have to play to get in. Yeah. yeah, lots on the line here. A couple of games going on at the same time will determine the fate of District 10 Bantam AA hockey. I do a little scoreboard watching. Yeah, let, let the viewers know. Yeah. I think it starts after our game by about 30 minutes. Yeah. Centennial Blaine, that is. We're about ready to drop the puck here. Rusty's got a grin on his face. It's kind of cool to be at ice level. We can see those things. Right. You can see the rough, nice mustache the whole bit. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson, we heard you're out tonight. So, hope you feel better, and we look forward to having you back for the VFW tournament. Ryland's going to chase it down in the corner. He'll tap it over to his brother Brady. That gets... Just past him, it's gonna come up out of the zone. Andrew, the hockey always looks so much faster at the ice level, doesn't it? Really it? Does, yeah. Well, like Brady's there. gonna take it down into the corner. For any of you Tampa Bay Lightning fans, Sergachev broke his leg this evening. He would be done for the season. That was too bad. Got tangled up along the boards. Andover is going to, oh, they tried to dump it in. Andover with a pep in their step early, wouldn't you say? I mean, Elk River's playing fast, too. Oh, there's, Sato catches it just off the blue line. Takes a shot. That goes off a glove. Oh, what a grab by Salo. That was a heck of a grab. Nice pass by Ryland as well. Andover now controls in the neutral zone. They're going to throw it down into the elk zone, but it's going to be offside. Oh, okay. I was looking for you. Here, yeah. Yeah. You might have noticed we're not running the time okay. tonight. The reason for that is when I run the time, I tend to actually hit buttons I'm not supposed to. So I'm not going to run the time. I'll keep you updated. 1342 here remaining. In the first period, Jacobson working on the four check for Elk River. Andover controls behind their own net. They're going to come up the near side, take it down right in front of us. Elk River working hard now to get it out of their own zone. Becker collects the puck behind his own net. He's going to carry it up. Becker's going to dump it into the zone, and Jansen's going to go to work on the forecheck for the Elks. Gets thrown up to the point. Lerberg holds, backhands it down to Millis. Millis is going to try to play it into the slot. He's going to play it across to Becker. Becker's going to take a shot. Becker's going to up into the net. That'll stop play. 12.53 remaining here in the first period. Going to be watching the walking track up above if the traffic up there slows down between periods. I will take the camera up there to give you a better view. There's a big heavy check by Millis. A stick goes flying. The puck comes out to neutral ice. There is a slashing call, and Millis will have to go to the box for the Elks for two minutes. 
That'll put Andover on the power play. Swalk so Rivers penalty killers will come onto the ice. Elk River's been working on the kill in practice. Pucks down in the corner. Hits right out front in the slot. b picks it up. He's going to dump it up off the glass and into the Andover zone. Oh, there's a big heavy hit. That was b -Raff. Andover controls in their own zone. Salo on the forecheck pressure. Andover's going to curl back, take it to the neutral zone. It's in the near corner, comes out to the point. Andover goes D to D. They throw it in, it doesn't get to the net. Salo on the forecheck pressure. Andover's now going to shoot. Good save by. Graham Carlson, who's in net between the pipes for the Elks tonight. Here comes Rustad. He's going to take it to the neutral zone on the near side. Tries a little toe drag, but Andover's wise to that. And they'll pick up the puck, but Rusty is bleeding some time off the clock there. As Elk River is still on the kill for another 36 seconds. 11-11 remaining here in the first. If you just joined us, I'm not going to be running the clock tonight. Too many bad things happen when I hit the wrong button, so I'll just keep you up to date on the time as the game develops. Brady Hansen now in the near corner. That was Braden Becker throwing the puck out of the zone all the way down, and that'll be an icing. So that'll stop the clock with 10.46 here remaining, 10 seconds remaining in the penalty to number 17, Carter Millis. Andover controls on the faceoff. They're going to take it up to the top of the slot. He's pressured right away by Becker and Jacobson. Puck's right in front of the net. It was in the slot. Becker picks it up, throws it off the glass. And Andover will once again have to retreat into their own zone. Elk River is now at full strength. The puck gets thrown into the far end. Andover's going to chase it down behind their own net. They're going to play it up the kick plate off the half wall. Never gets out of the zone. It's tied up along the boards there. That was a nice play by Jacobson to get it over to, I think it was Becker. He tried to play it back to Jacobson, but the puck will come out of the zone. And Elks will have to retreat. Andover picks it up in the Elks zone. They're going to carry it into the far corner. He's pressured by a couple of different Elks. Elk River now plays it up to a streaking chance, and he's got an opportunity. The goalie comes out to play it. Oh, and he couldn't get a stick on it. It was a wide open net. The goalie had come out to play it. Janner had to have it on his backhand. There's another shot but that gets blocked at the point. And the Elks will once again have to curl back. They're going to play it up to the neutral zone. Rusty picks it up. Rusty in the slot. He's collapsed upon by three different Andover players. The Huskies now in their own zone. Huskies in the gold sweaters. Elk River in their black and red. We call them the alternate unis. Andover's going to bring it up to the neutral zone once again. Elk River has... Numbers back. There's a shot. That goes just wide. Andover holds at the point. That never makes it to the net. Gets blocked up front by an elk. Now Grant Shower will chase it down behind the net. He's going to throw it up here to Salo. Salo's going to tap it across to Rustad. Rustad's going to carry it to the neutral zone. He's on the near side. Rustad's in the corner. Once again, a couple of Huskies are on him. Good. Turnover there by Millis. Millis has got it now behind the net. Millis did a swing and shoot. And that goes off the goalie. Comes out onto a Husky stick. Husky's trying to get it through the neutral zone, but the Elks swarm him. 
Hill is now going to backhand it up to Millis, but Millis had stepped just off sides, and that'll stop the clock with 8.20 remaining here in the first period. <laughs> B. Raff now in the faceoff dot for the Elks. Schultz will throw it into the end over zone. Elk River trying to put pressure on the forecheck. They step up and pick it off in the neutral zone. Elk River will chase that down behind the Husky. There's a collision in the back wall, and that's Millis hitting the boards hard. Puck comes up to Hill. Hill makes a nice little side to side move. He's going to throw it across to Lerberg, but it was in front of him. So Lerberg will have to retreat, and here come the Huskies back up. They're going to throw it all the way down, and that'll be a nice. 7.48 now remaining here in the first period. The face-off will be in the Husky zone. B-Raff's got it in the far corner. B-Raff's going to play it up the half wall. Oh, it gets past Hanson, so the Elks will have to retreat. Oh, there's a pass that goes off a Husky helmet. Good thing the kids wear cages, because that would have been up in the nose area of that Husky player. That wouldn't have felt good. And it's another ice on the Huskies. So once again, the faceoff will come back into the Husky zone. 7.24 now remaining here in the first. Scoreless first. The official drops the puck. The Huskies control behind their own net. They're going to sling it along the kick plate. It comes out to Shower. Shower's going to play it across to Brady Hans. And B. Hans and plays it... Up to Becker. Becker taps it to his own tape. He's going to carry it down in the far corner. He gets ridden off the park. And the Elks control. They're going to throw it in on net, but the Huskies pick it up in the slot. And they're going to throw it up past the neutral zone. It got tipped by Grant, so the Elks will have to chase that one down. That's not going to be a nice. Oh, there's a trip. No call. So it looks like the officials are going to let them play here. At least, hopefully they do it both ways. B. Hansen with a big collision behind the net. There's another big hit by Becker along the half wall into the glass. Grant Shower plays it along the kick plate. It comes all the way up to the point. Andover's going to play it right back into the zone. And the puck gets thrown back along to the other side. The Elks going from end to end. Andover doing a good job of keeping it in the zone, at least so far. Andover gets a turnover. They try to throw it up in the slot. Good job by B. Hansen picking up his guy and knocking him to the ice. Comes out to the point. There's a shot. Graham steers that aside. Nice save by Graham. There's another shot. Graham is able to glove that. He pounces on it. 5.53 remaining here in the first. Good shift for the Huskies there. They kept it in the zone. And the Elks will switch out some pretty tired skaters after that. Long shift in the Elk River end. Good cycling there by the Huskies. Looks like there is an equipment problem or something got dropped on the ice. Maybe a mouth guard. Five fifty-three here remaining in the first. The Elks win the faceoff. Rots is going to carry it up ice. Rots on the far side. He's looking for some of the pass to throws it kind of out in front of the net. It gets steered aside. The Elks try to get it to the slot, but Andover's got that covered pretty heavily. Comes up to the point. Hanson throws it across the river. Lerberg's going to shoot it, but it gets blocked, so that never gets on net. And the Elks try to hold the zone, but can't. Andover kind of pops it up in the air. Oops, sorry about that. Puck's here in the near corner. Oh, 
dangerous play right up front. The puck is bouncing around. Graham makes a couple of saves. Lerberg swings to try to whack it out of the zone. He didn't get a lot of it, but it got enough of it where Rusted picks it up. Throws it over to Ryland. Ryland now to Salem. Salem's going to shoot. Oh, he kind of a half shot, half pass attempt. Good move by Millis. Oh, he throws it. It's on the skates of Salem. And here comes Andrew with numbers. Elk's got a couple players back as well. And Andover brings it in offsides. 4.52 now remaining here in the first period of action. Still scoreless. Hope you like this different viewpoint of this game. Ice level. It's something we haven't done before. Well, at least not much this year. It was done by necessity, not by choice. And the puck goes out of play, and the faceoff will be in the Andover zone. As they were the last to touch the puck. 444 here remaining in number Udo. Millis is going to backhand it to the point. Shower is going to take a shot. It's right out front. I couldn't see it. Looked like it bounced off some gear. Comes out of the zone, through the neutral zone. Elks are doing a good job for the most part, bottling up and over in the neutral zone. They haven't had too many clean breakouts. Well, once again, the Elks will turn it over. Here comes B-Raff. B-Raff's going to skate down. There's a shot. That goes off the back. Nice shot by B-Raff. And Andover's going to bring it through the neutral zone with some speed. Andover takes it to the far side. They're going to throw it behind the Elks net. Oh, the puck gets tapped up into the netting, and that'll stop play with four minutes even to go here in the first. I've been watching the walking traffic upstairs. Unfortunately, there's probably more people now than there were earlier. So I think this is the vantage point we're going to have for the rest of the game. Hansen in the corner for the Elks. The Huskies throw it up top. Now they throw it off the half wall. Graham makes another good save. There's some traffic in front of his own net. And the puck comes all the way down into the Husky zone. Elk River will provide chase. Jacobson picks it up. Throws it up top. There's a shot by Becker. Goes just wide. Goalie might have got a piece of that one. And the Elks get the turnover and try to curl back into the slot. But the Huskies sniff that out. Hanson's going to play it off the kick plate. Down into the behind the net. Into the far corner. Here's an opportunity for the Elks. There's a shot. And that goes off the crossbar. That was Pete Hansen getting a good shot off for the Elks. And Elk River's offside at the blue line. Nope, it's a penalty. Excuse me. Elk River touched up. It's going to be a penalty on the Elks. So the penalty kill team will have to come back out for two more minutes. So far, the early penalties are on Elk River. Unfortunately, the officials did miss one obvious trip earlier in the period. 3.09 remaining here in the first. That penalty would have been against the Huskies for the trip that I just referenced. Now the puck comes out to the blue line. The Huskies make a little side move. They throw it down into the near corner. R. Hansen's going to rain along the glass and out of the zone. Huskies will have to... Oh, they fall down. And Sale's going to pick up the puck. He's going to try to play it right out front to Jacobson, who was... Or, I'm sorry, that was Rusty, who was looking for the opportunistic opportunity. That's a mouthful. Rusty's got it back. He's just going to tap it lightly off the kick plate. And the Huskies will again have to retreat behind their own net. Salo pestering the Huskies. We'll be happy to watch the seconds click off the clock here. 118 remaining in the penalty to Elk River. Huskies carry it into the Elk zone and knocks off a skate and out of the zone. And here the Huskies will have to retreat once again. Rusted with the pressure. He's going to tap it just ahead. Now it's a foot race. Rusty's got it. He shoots and throws it right out in front of the net. It wasn't a shot. It was a nice pass to B-Rap. Now Huskies got an opportunity on the other end. But Grant Shower makes that Make sure that isn't much of an opportunity. And now there's a battle here in the near corner. There's a shot on net. 
but Graham Carlson makes that save. 155 remaining here in the first period. 47 seconds remaining on the penalty to the Elks. Puck comes up top to the blue line. Andover is going to curl back. Throw it back to the D. He's going to take a shot. That gets deflected by B-Rap. The puck's dangerously right out the slot. It goes harmlessly wide. Now the Huskies are going to skate it in on. Oh, that puck got shot hard off a of Lerberg skate, and that one stung. And he'll have to come off the ice. He's in some discomfort. Handover has a quick shot right off the faceoff, but Graham Carlson was ready for it, makes the save. Faceoff comes to Shower. Shower's going to backhand it to the opposite side. Jansen's going to try to get there. The Huskies control in the far corner. Shower picks it up. He throws it on the tape of, I think that's Jacobson. That gets played out of the zone. Three seconds, two seconds, one second remaining on the penalty. 108 remaining here in the period. Elks are at full strength. Hill's going to play it across to Shower in the neutral zone. Shower's going to play it over to Jansen. Jansen throws it to Millis. That gets tipped up in the air. And over controls. And over... Errantly backhands it. Jansen's going to pick up the loose puck. Jansen makes a little move, goes to the net. Oh, that slides off his tape, and here comes the Huskies. Huskies have a breakaway opportunity. Gets past Ryland, there's a shot. And Graham comes out to challenge, goes up and over the goalie. Good play by the goalie. There's a puck that dangerously bounces through the slot. Elks do a good job of holding. Ryland makes a move. Ryland's going to carry it to the slot, tap it to Salo. Salo's got it now. But Andover comes away with it. Now the Elks got it. A lot of turnovers here. We'll have to see how that plays out as the game goes on. You heard the buzzer. That's the end of first. It's a scoreless first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Elkburger Andover after one. Played first period by both teams. Both Huskies and the Elks had some scoring opportunities. I would say Elk River played very well in the neutral zone and on the forecheck. They got a lot of turnovers. Again, we'll have to see how that plays out as the game goes on. Can they turn those opportunities into scoring opportunities? We'll find out. Shots on goal. Six for the home team, four for the Elks. Well, now the traffic is almost completely died down up top for walking. So maybe between the second and the third during the Zam session, I can get up top for perhaps a better view. Or it might just stay right here. We'll see. Well, we've switched ends. The Elks will now be going from left to right on your screen. A 
that chit chat there before he dropped the puck. And the Elks step up, pick that one off in the neutral zone. That's B. Hanson, plays it to Rusty. Rusty's going to take it down into the near corner. He makes a little move, goes to the net, tries to stuff it in on net. The goalie makes the save. Just got it up. Here comes B. Hanson. He's going to throw it down into the corner. And the Elks forecheck will go to work. There's Rots and Salo working together on the forecheck. Our Hanson holds it. Oh, it gets tipped and knocked into the player's box. So I'll stop the clock with 14.29 remaining here in the second period. <laughs> Score of the second period still. B. Hansen's got it now. B. Hansen's going to carry it down the near side. He's going to shoot. That gets deflected. It ends up behind the net. Andover's going to bring it out of the zone, through the neutral zone. The point is just rolling right in front of us. It gets played behind the Elks now. B. Hansen's going to throw it off the wall, but he gets pressured. So Andover's able to hold, at least for the time being. And there's a gaggle of players on the wall. B. Hansen's now going to carry it up, but he's pestered by a Husky. And that's an offside on the Elks, so the faceoff will come into the Oak River Zone. Thirteen forty seven remaining here in the second. There's a quick shot on it right off the faceoff. It's the second time we've seen a quick shot right off the faceoff dot. by the Huskies. Schultz, he backhands it. There's a shot. Oh, gets deflected right out front, but the goalie makes a nice pad save, stays with it, and is able to get his pad on it just in time. Hill picks it up behind the Elks net. Oh, Hill gets ridden off. Hopefully they're not too tied up. And Hill looks at the official like, I got tackled. Official told him, no, you didn't, so they're going to play on. I would agree with Hill. <laughs> Andover's going to play it out of their own zone, but the Elks, once again, step up and pick it off in the neutral zone. Comes over to Jacobson. Jacobson throws it into the zone, and the Elks will go to work on the four check. Coach Raleigh once told the team, no forecheck, no backcheck, no paycheck. These kids took it to heart. And the official will blow that down. 12.25 remaining here in the second. Looks like a penalty on Andover. There's the call. It's a cross check. So the Elks will get their first power play of the game. Face-off will be in the end over end. So here's our first look at the Elk River power play. Puck goes into the near corner. Hill's going to tap it right back to the opposite side. Rusty has it on the half wall. It comes out to Hanson. Hanson holds it, taps it back to Rusty. Rusty now controls it to Hanson. Hanson throws it across to Hill. Hill takes a look, throws it back to Ryland. Ryland takes a clapper, but the Huskies are there to block it. That comes off Ryland's tape, and Ryland hustles back and makes sure that that isn't a breakaway. Ryland's got it now. He's got his head up. He's looking for someone to hit. He decides to carry it up and tap it up to Jacobson. Jacobson's ridden into the glass. Puck goes behind the and over net. Now Hill's got it. He's going to throw it up to Hanson. That gets chipped over to Rusty. Rusty plays it to Hanson. Hanson back to Hill. Hill's got a look. He's going to throw it across. There's a shot by Rusty. And that goes off the goalie. 
so far. Andover's goalies made all the saves. Rafferty's got it. Rafferty shoots. That goes just wide. I think that might have been deflected. Hard to tell from this angle. Hill's got it now. Hill plays it up to Shower. Shower plays it across to Rusty. Rusty shoots. That's a little bit high and wide. Now Hill sets it up. Hill's going to throw it across to Shower. Shower's going to shoot. That goes off the goalie. And it goes up into the netting, and that'll be a face-off with 10.50 remaining here in the second. 25 seconds remaining on the penalty to number 21 for the Huskies. So the Elks' second power play unit will come in. Elk River's coaching staff barks out a few last-minute instructions. And Andover is able to win that, and they're going to throw it out of the zone all the way down. I think it will be nice, and it is. That took about three seconds off the clock. 10.42 remaining here in the second. Elks win the faceoff, comes out to Grant. Grant's going to take a look. He'll slide it across to the opposite side. There's a shot by the Elks. Gets deflected, and the goalie pounces on it. Nine seconds remaining on the power play. 10.34 remaining now in the second. Faceoff will be in the far dot. Rots will pick it up. He's going to throw it up top to Hanson. Hanson's got a look. He's going to throw it back to Rots. Rots just misfires. Hanson's going to pick up loose puck. Throws it on net. That gets blocked by the goalie's stick or glove. The blocker. Oh, the three. Oh, the puck's dangerously right out front. The Elks are swarming. And the Elks get it. Becker throws it right out front. <laughs> Played across. Rots shoots and it goes off the glove. Nice little tic tac toe by the Elks. Well, tic tac. And no scoring total. <laughs> now Andover, the Huskies are going to bring it into the Elks zone, but the Elks swat it out. 9.52, no icing, both teams full strength. The snow stopped that puck pretty quick. Looks like Andover having trouble controlling the puck with the heavy snow on the ice. There's a shot, Graham steers that aside. Good pass save by Graham Carlton. Andover trying to carry it in. Sorry about the view here. I know it's difficult to see in that corner, but it's hard for me to see as well. The puck finally squirts loose. A spinning Becker tried to hit Salo. Now Rusty picks up the loose puck. He'll throw it across to Schultz. Schultz had an opportunity. There's a follow-up by Salo, who puts the, I think it was the second or the third shot into the net for the Elks. First blood. Lerberg plays it up the half wall to Jacobson. Jacobson taps it forward. Becker hard on the court check. And the puck will come down into the Husky end. And the Elks are going to pick it up. Just shove it forward into the Andover zone. Both teams struggling to control the puck on this very snowy ice at this point. And it'll just get worse as this eight minutes bleeds off here in the second period. The puck has basically just slowed way down. So you really got to have your tape on it. It's not going to slide much. Andover retreats into their own zone. They're going to curl back. Now they're going to try to hit a streaking center. Going through the neutral zone. The Elks once again step up and intercept. And Andover's on their side. So that's what happens when you disrupt that breakout through the neutral zone. Is 
there's any disruption to the flow and the timing of it, <laughs> you'll more times than not end up off sides. Good look at the face off right in front of us here. That was B Rap. Wins it back to Hanson. Hanson's going to play it up to Millis. Millis is going to tip that into the zone. Rafferty's going to go to work on the four check. Now Schultz has got it. Schultz is going to play it up top to Graham. Grant. <laughs> Grant Shower plays it below the net. And once again, that pesky snow plays a role here in who's got possession. The Huskies have it now. They throw it over into the near corner. There's a good collision by b -Raff. He throws his weight around. Schultz throws it up top. Hanson's going to play it across to just past Shower. Shower's going to tip it down into the corner. Rafferty and Millis get tangled up for just a second. There's a shot by Shower. It goes just wide. And here come the Huskies. Once again, Elk River in that decor breaks it up. And disrupts the breakout in the flow. Oh! The Elks tried to hit a streaking salo. The official, or the official. <laughs> the goalie covers it with 6.51 remaining here in the second. one nothing Elk River. Elks have it in the far corner. Rusted now is trying to dig it out of the pile. He taps it to himself. He's going to carry it right out front. Had an opportunity right in front of the net. Just couldn't get the puck on net. The Elks have it in the near corner. That's B. Hansen. B. Hansen's behind the Husky net. Boy, he's pestered, <laughs> pestered by multiple Huskies. Oh, the puck goes off the goalie. Lays dangerously to the side of Graham. The Elks are able to get there first and clean up the loose puck. Huskies now carrying it up through center ice. And puck goes into the far corner. And they always come away with it. We're going to try to break it out of the zone. There's a hand pass on the Elks. 5.44 remaining here in the second period. Elk River 1, the Huskies 0. I haven't heard. I, I got it. Like, I talked to Teresa. And she's a full-time. Huskies win the face-off. They throw it down into the corner. She wants to Oh, yeah. It's behind the net. And the Elks come away with it. The Elks are going to carry it up the near side. That's Becker. He's streaking down the near side. He throws it right in front. And the goalie steers out of side. Here come the Huskies. Down on the LP. They throw it high and wide. The Huskies try to hold it in the corner. Big hit there along the far side. Oh, and there's a penalty on the Elks. And the Elks are going to go back to the penalty box for two minutes. 5.06 remaining here. I think the Elks got an elbow up. We'll see what the official says. Here's the call. To call our leads and call. That's three penalties on the Elks so far. One on the Huskies. 5.06 remaining here in the second. Elk River's penalty kill has been very good to this point. Not allowing the Huskies many opportunities at all. Shots now have flipped in the Elks' favor, 13 to 8. At least according to the scoreboard. The Elks step up and knock it away in the neutral zone once again, so Andor is just going to have to throw it harmlessly into the Elks' end. 
Grant's going to pick it up behind the net, do a little dipsy do move. <laughs> Coach, it sounds like, go after him. Grant's now pressured. Uses his body to cover the puck. That's going to be in a penalty on Andover, and they're going to go to the box. And that is a pretty dramatic hooking call. The official was adamant about that one. So we're back to, well, we're four on four now. The Elks will get a power play out of this for about 40-some seconds. A minute 18 remaining on the original penalty. 424 remaining here in the second period. Official drops the puck and over controlled for a second, but they don't anymore. Oh, now the Huskies got it behind their own net. Salo doing a good job on the forecheck. Going to have a lot of open ice now. It's a four on four scenario. He'll flex it behind the Alex Ned. He'll skate it out. Oh, and it ends up on net. So the Huskies were all over Hill there as he tried to carry it out. And the puck ended up right in front of Graham. Graham covered the puck, so he stayed 1 0. Now Andover controls. Something was going on behind the play with Salo. Got tied up with a Husky. Didn't see it. All I saw was Salo getting up off the ice and looking at the official with astonishment. <laughs> Now Salo's pressuring in the near corner. The Huskies control. 16 seconds remaining on the penalty to the Elks. To Ryland Hansen. Here comes Andover with a three-on-three -three opportunity. There's a shot. Graham steers that aside. He was ready for it. Rusty plays it up to B. Hansen. B. Hansen has it tapped off his tape. Ends up up above his head. He couldn't see it. Graham Grant picks up the puck. Shoots. Oh, and it goes. In the, it's got to be in the net. Oh, it was not in the net. It bounced all around the goal line. And I don't think it crossed the goal line. It was extremely close. 2.58 remaining. Ryland's out of the box. The Elks have a power play for the next 34 seconds. That was as close as you can get to scoring without scoring. It hit the crossbar, bounced straight down, sat on the goal line. The Elks tried to get their stick on it but couldn't before the Andover Huskies covered it. Andover will carry it out of their own zone through the neutral zone. Heavy collision in the Elks end. Here comes Jacobson on the near side. He's going to carry it up. He drops it to Rafferty. And that's knocked out of the zone. There's 11 seconds remaining. That'll be a nice 10 seconds remaining now in the power play. Talc River, 2.33 remaining in the second period. And now, like, because, like, Yoshi wants to go with, and I want to go with. And now Yoshi's like, I want to go with. And now Shana's like, maybe I want to go with that. No, I'm thinking of family, yeah. And then the puck comes out to Rusty. Rusty plays it to Hill. Hill across to Ryland. Ryland's got it now. Ryland shoots. That's a low shot. The goalie makes the save. He was down on his knees. And Andover's going to come away with it. And there is a penalty on... I think it was on the Elks. Maybe it was on Andover. Penalty is on Andover. Here's the call. It's another hook. So Andover are very active with the sticks. So that'll be another two minute power play for the Elks. Andover is able to kill off the first one. 221 remaining here in the second period. A lot of stoppages. Elks win the face off, play it back to Hill. Hill's going to play it across to Ryland. Ryland's got it now, he's going to play it to Rusty. Rusty plays it up to Ryland Hanson. Ryland shoots, there's a shot. There's another shot by the Elks. Two shots on goal. Comes out to Rusty. Rusty's got it now, he's going to try to play it across to Rafferty, but the Huskies disrupt that idea. Now it's in the far corner, comes over behind the goal line. Jacobson gets tied up with the Huskies. 
Jacobson plays it up to Hill. That gets deflected into the near corner. Andover doing a good job so far keeping it on the perimeter. That's played into the far corner. Rusty's got it now. Rusty plays it up to Hanson. Hanson over to Hill. Hill across to Rusty. Rusty's got a look. He'll shoot. That goes off the blocker. Rafferty plays it up to Rusty. Rusty shoots. That goes off something. <laughs> I don't even know what. A piece of equipment, perhaps. And it comes up. Hanson tries to hold it. Oh, he falls down. And the Huskies going to pick it up. Wide open on the breakaway. Here come the Huskies. They shoot. Oh, and it's wide to the left. And the Elks pick up the loose puck, and they're still in the power play for another 47 seconds. Rusty's going to carry it down. He is swarmed by a couple of Huskies. Those gold jerseys have been all over in this power play, all over the black sweaters. And the Elks are going to carry it in the zone. Rusty's going to tap it over to Rots. Rots shoots it, and it gets deflected, never gets on net. The Huskies are going to play it once again out of the zone. Grant Shower picks it up, throws it across to Becker. Becker tries to hit Rots. But Rots is going the opposite direction, can control it. Here come the Huskies. They're going to throw it in on net, and Graham loves that one. 14 seconds remaining here in the power play. 34 seconds remaining in the second period. Elk River leading by a goal. Grant's got it now behind the net. I kind of think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heavy hitting going behind the Elk River goaltender. Attendee. Millis coming up, going to the neutral zone. Millis makes a couple of moves. He's going to shoot it. That goes just wide and high. And the gold jerseys are trying to bring it back up the ice. The Elks are going to throw it down behind the net. Two seconds. Mills played it right out front, but nobody was home for the Elks. And that will end the second period of action. We are going to resurface. We will see you back in 15 minutes for the third. You got an update for us? No, I'll look.
Rusted and rots. Third period of action. Puck goes off the glass, comes into the neutral zone. The Huskies are going to chase it down. Huskies bring it into the Elks end. There's a shot and a goal right out of the gate for the Huskies. Give up the breakaway right off the face of it. Center ice turnover. Got the defense flat footed easily. And it's a 1 1 contest. 14 47 remaining here in the third. Andover fills it up into the Elks zone. The Elks will have to chase it down through the neutral zone. Andover gets the jump. Here come the Huskies again. Grant gets tied up. He's stick is held. Oh, and then they go into the corner, and then there's a little banging. Grant's getting a kick out of something. And the Huskies will change out a bunch of skaters. The Elks come away with it off the faceoff behind their own net. They're going to carry it up through the zone. That's Becker. He's going to take it through the neutral zone. And he throws it in on net. And the goalie makes the pad save. And the Elks will just skate away. Both teams have picked up the physicality here in the third. There's a quick shot on that. That gets steered aside by the big end over goal. Comes out of the shower. Shower's going to dump it off the board. It comes through the neutral zone. Grant's going to circle back. Plays it across to Jansen. Janner now skates into the zone. He throws it behind the net to Becker. Becker's got it now. He plays it to just past Jacobson's tape. Good job by Grant there to break up that play, and that'll be an offsides on the Elks. Thirteen forty-two remaining here in the third. Face off comes to center ice. 
gets tossed down into the hand over end, and the Golden Jerseys will go to work on their own side of the ice. Huskies going from your left to your right. Elks throw it in behind the Husky net. Schultz steps over. He rides this guy off the puck. Oh, and there's a penalty. Not sure what it is. The Elks touch it up. Not sure what the call is. It's a cross check. Didn't see it myself. But the Elks will go in the penalty box. Here's the call. So the Elks will have to fight off a two-minute penalty here. Andover with all kinds of momentum here early in the third period. They get the quick goal on the breakaway right at the start of the period. Now they've got a two-minute power play. 13.05 remaining here in the third. The Elks have two minutes to burn. Andover plays it to the point. Andover throws it on net. It gets deflected. Graham stays with it, makes the save. Husky's doing a good job of holding the zone right now. Andover gets pressured, and Lerberg's going to ah, throw it out of the zone. It ends up on Schultz's tape. He throws it all the way down into the Andover end. Husky's controlled behind their own net. 12.25 remaining here in the third. Huskies bring it into the Elk zone. Number 12 throws it on net. Graham steers that aside. Elk River will chase it down. That's Ryland. He's going to tap it just past Rusty's tape. Andover controls behind their own net once again. Andover tries the 60-foot pass. That doesn't work. Hanson reads it, breaks it up, carries it to the neutral zone. Here comes Andover with 44 seconds remaining on the penalty. Two of the Elks. Good job by Brady Hanson to read that play. Carries it up to the neutral zone, but Andover picks it off at the blue line. Now they're going to carry it up into the zone. It's a two-on-two -two opportunity. Throw it right out front. Couldn't make the pass connect. Good save by Graham. Here comes Rusty up the near side. Rusty's going to carry it down. Rusty's got pressure. He throws it off the pipe. And it's an offsides. And Brady Hansen looks tired after that long shift. Looks like he'll stay in there, however. Brady Hansen doing a lot of work in this penalty kill for Elks. Or the Elks. 10 seconds remaining on the penalty, 11 19 remaining in the third period. Puck is played back to Brady Hansen. He chips it up to Jacobson. JJ's got it now. JJ plays it across to Becker, but doesn't quite make it to him. So handover controls in their own zone. They're going to throw it up through the neutral zone. They're also going to step up. Full teams at full strength. Here comes Andover. They're going to carry it into the slot. They try to get a shot off. It gets deflected. Andover carries it behind the net. Right out front on the slot. Two shots. Almost three shots on net. Graham covering the corner. Graham now covering the other side. Another shot in the slot. The Elks got to pick him up. Finally, the Elks clear it. Jacobson plays it to the opposite side. The Elks are going to have to come and get it. Some tired skaters out there. They throw it right back out to the slot. Elks chip it to the corner. Becker's got it now. Oh, Becker tries the long pass to Jansen. Jansen's going to have to just backhand it into the zone. And the Elks are going to chase skaters. Oh, an opportunity right out front. And J.J. couldn't get his puck on it. The goalie misplayed it. Couldn't get a stick on it. The puck, excuse me. The puck is now in the neutral zone. Andover's going to chip it into the Elks zone. They're going to go to work on the forecheck. Grand Shower picks it up after it deflects off the net. Janner's going to try to play it out of the zone, but Hill's got it now. Hill's in the corner. Hill plays it to the opposite side to Grant. Grant tries to sling it along the boards. And that puck just slides off the tape. Lerberg's going to try to play it up to Millis. Millis has got it now on the kick plate on the half boards. He throws it to Schultz. Schultz has got it. Schultz trips it. Tip it across. The Elks were tied up, couldn't get their tape on it. 
And that's a nice by Andover. They're going to just throw it out so they can get five fresh skaters in there. Oh, River Spartan will put some pressure on. 9.33 remaining here in the third. 1-1 one, one tie. If you just joined us, this game has a lot of importance. Depending on how the Blaine Centennial game turns out. Blaine Centennial playing right now. That will determine the champion of the district, depending on how this game turns out. Puck goes into the corner. Schultz has got it now. Schultz is looking. Throws it across. There's a shot by Rafferty. That gets deflected before he can get on that. And the Huskies are going to bring it back to the neutral zone. The Huskies with speed, bringing it down on Hill. He goes to the net, but Graham cuts him off. The puck gets slung to the opposite side. Millis picks it up now. Millis carries it to the neutral zone. Millis is going to dump it into the zone. The goalie will glove it. And that will stop the clock with 8.56 remaining here in the third period. Teams putting fresh skaters back out on the ice. 8.56 remaining now in the third period. Salo picks it up off the faceoff dot. Salo rides it into the near corner. Puck comes out to Grant. Grant shoots it, but it gets deflected. And the Huskies are going to come with numbers. They try to throw it up to the neutral zone, but they always pick it off. Here come the Huskies. That shot banks off the kick plate. Salo gets it, throws it across to Rusty. Rusty's got it now right in front of us. Rusty plays it up and over the Husky. Goes down behind the goal line. And here come the gold sweaters again. It's a track meet. Three Huskies on one. Elk. Good save by Graham. The puck sitting dangerously in the slot. And there is a whistle. And it looks like a hand pass. Pretty sure it was on the Elks. Face off will come out of the zone. Good job by Graham to keep the Elks in it. Shots on goal 22 Elks, 16 and over. 8 14 remaining now in the third. Face off right in front of us. Puck comes to Hill. Hill plays it across to Brady. Brady with a pass up to Becker. Chops up in the air. J.J. shoots just wide. B. Hansen taps it into the corner. Jacobson's going to take chase it down. J.J. taps it just forward. There's a heavy hit. Becker puts his guy into the wall. They're tied up. Hill's got it now. Hill shoots. There's right front. Oh, the Elks just missed. Janner had an opportunity. There's a call. A hold. It's got to be on and over. It is. And the end over bench not happy with the call. The player didn't protest. He went right to box. 7.44 remaining in the third. The Elks have the power play. comes out to Hanson. Hanson plays it across to Hill. Hill's got a lucky shoot. That goes just high and wide. And the puck rings around the glass all the way out of the zone. It's a high risk, high reward shot. Hanson's going to carry it up ice through the through the neutral zone. He's going to play it across to Rusta. Rusta drops it to Rafferty. Rafferty along the boards on the far side. Throws it across hard. Elks couldn't get a stick on it. Hans plays across the hill. Hill tries to tap it to Rafferty. Rafferty lost it off his tape. Hill's got it again. Hill's going to take a look and shoot. And it goes in the net. And Hill gets the goal for the Elks. The go ahead. Here's a look at that one. Seven oh two remaining here in the third. So Hill gets the go ahead after the pass from Ryland with the assist. Puts the Elks up two to one. Yeah, right. With seven oh two remaining here in the third. 
No time to take your foot off the throttle, though, because here comes Andover with numbers into the elk zone. They're going to throw it on net. And Lerberg once again limping off the ice. It's the second time he has been stung in this game. <laughs> He's going to need a ice bath after this one. Elks win the faceoff. No time for boo-boos in this one. There's a tap across. Rots has a lucky shoot, so the goalie swings wildly at it, but gets enough of it where it is deflected wide. Hansen's got it out the ball. Hansen slides it across. Elks is good passing right now. Rusty throws it to Salo. Rusty comes in to help Salo. Salo's got it in the corner. The ball is just... The puck is just pinballing back and forth. Gold, black sweater. Here's Rusty as a left. He shoots that high and wide. B. Hansen holds his own. Oh, Salo gets tied up in the puck. Slides harmlessly out of the zone. Shower backs up at the puck. Throws it across to Hansen. Hansen's going to tap that up. Try to get it just past Salo, but he'll throw it down in the zone. Heavy hit hitter along the boards here. And it will be an icing on the Elks. It's been a physical game. Heavy hitting. Two to one Elk River. 5.54 remaining here in the third period. We are even strength. Both teams. Five on five. Andover controls off the faceoff. They're going to dump it in behind the net. It bounces out. Graham just harmlessly taps it behind the net again. The Elks control. The Elks will bring it to the neutral zone of speed. That's Schultze. Schultze's going to play it to B-Rap. B-Rap plays it up to Hanson. Hanson's going to shoot it. And the puck's lying there for just a minute. And the Elks control. Now the Huskies have it. They're going to throw it up the kick plate on the half wall. And it gets thrown right back below the net. The Elks go to work again on the forecheck. Got Schultz over on the near side. Now there's a pile of bodies on the near side along the glass. We'll see who comes away with it. It's Andover. But they can't get it out. The Elks hold it once again. Five minutes remaining now in the third. Here comes Andover with it. Numbers into the Elks zone, but Ryland disrupts that play. Puck's lying on the blue line. Andover trying to get it into the zone. That's played high and off the glass. Andover controls. Andover in the neutral zone. Andover plays it into the Elks zone. They're going to throw a shot from downtown Andover. That goes over the net by about seven feet. <laughs> Becker was lining the guy up and decided to hold off. Now Grant plays it off the kick plate in the neutral zone. JJ is going to throw it into the zone. This is where Elk River can be really good. They can be pesky. It's a battle of wills at this point. There's a heavy hit behind the goal on Janner. Now Becker's going to go into the corner. Puck finally gets played out, but Lerberg intercepts. He backhands it into the zone, and unfortunately it's an offside. Three fifty-eight remaining here in the third. And over comes away with it. Grant's got it though. Grant circles back. He's got help from Lerberg. He plays it over to Lerberg. Lerberg's going to skate it up ice. Lerberg's going to. Backhand it up to JJ. JJ is going to play it off the kick play and all the way down. Janner is going to chase it down. Janner with the turnover. Janner gets knocked off the take off the puck. And the puck is in the corner and it's buried once again. 328 remaining now in the third. Andover is going to carry it up ice through the neutral zone. Elks got numbers back. There's a shot and Graham just gloves it like it's nothing. 319 remaining now in the third. 2-1 Elk River. Shots on goal, 24-18. And 
Andover's been running a set play where they shoot very quickly right off the faceoff. They're not able to do it on this faceoff opportunity. Here comes Rusty. He's going to carry it out of the neutral zone. He's chased down by a couple of gold sweaters. Andover gets the turnover. They're going to bring it right back up ice. He gets ridden off the puck. And Ryland comes away with it. Another heavy collision in the near corner. Gets played to Rots. Rots on the far side is going to backhand it across to Salo. Salo tries to make a little hot move. But Andover comes away with it. Andover now gets played off a skate to Ryland Hansen. Ryland Hansen taps it to Rots. Rots is going to just dump her right back in the zone, and the poor check goes back to work for the Elks. 2.34 remaining now in the third period. Good step up by Millis. The puck gets deflected up and into the bench for the Husky. 228 remaining in the contest. Elk River still leads by a goal, 2 to 1. If this score remains, it makes the Centennial Blaine game that much more important. And there's a whistle. A few seconds have ticked off. 224 remaining here in the third. Schultz plays it to Grant. Grant's going to tap it to Schultz. Schultz drops it down in the near corner. Plays it across to Millis. Willis tried to kick it with a skate, but it got past him. So here come the Huskies. The Huskies are going to bring it into the zone, but they're offside. 207 remaining. That was one of the Huskies' best looks so far. Unfortunately, it got blown dead at the blue line. Becker in the faceoff down for the Elks, and Andover's going to call timeout. time on the clock so 207 is the accurate time remaining here in the contest it's two to one Elks Seven remaining here in the third period. A 2 1 hockey game. Handover over skates it. JJ comes over to support. Hill as well. Handover's carrying it to the slot. A lot of black jerseys in his way. And it looks like Graham has covered the puck. Whoa, some time should have ran off there. <laughs> I'm not sure the guy even started the clock. I am now, but with there's two minutes left, but he didn't start it. Puck comes up to the point. There's a shot. It gets blocked. The Elks throw it out of the zone. The puck's going down. It is just wide and over the line. 143 remaining. Let's go, 
<laughs> I just noticed TJ Salo's next to the clock keeper, so he'll keep him honest. 143 remaining here in the third. Elk's got it. They're going to chip it up into the neutral zone, and Andover will have to retreat. That puck gets tipped and up into the netting. That'll stop the clock again with 134 remaining. A lot of face-offs here, a lot of stoppages. 134 remaining. Elk River hanging on to a 2-1 lead. Clock is running. And the puck is knocked out of the zone again. Becker's going to chase it down. But Andover comes away with it. Andover's got it now. They're going to carry it into the elk zone. They slide it across. They're in the top of the slot, but they can't get a stick on it. Salo throws it all the way down, but there's a, there's a whistle. And it's a hook on someone. Boy, I do hope that's on Andover. It is not. It's on Elk River. 112 remaining, and the Elks will go down a skater. And this is why I don't run the clock. <laughs> Now the Oaks have their work cut out for them. They throw it all the way down the ice. There it is. It's in the net. And the Oaks get a goal from way downtown. What a play by Grant Schauer. He gets it on his tape, shoots at the length of the ice from goal line to goal line, and it hits the center of the net. What a turn of events here. Three to one Elk River. Elk River with a short-handed goal. That's Grant Shower. And now Elk River has a minute eight to kill. Either my timing is off or the scorekeeper's being really generous. Either way, the puck comes out to the point. Andover's going to tap it to the side. The Elks still have a penalty to kill, remember, so it's not over yet, folks. Puck goes down behind the goal. Elks tap it up to the opposite side, whips to the near side. Grant buries his guy into the boards. Andover makes a little move, throws it out to the point. There's going to be a shot. That goes wide. Puck is now behind the Elk River net. Andover trying to set it up. They do, and just skate past it. There's a shot. Graham sticks out his glove. There's another shot. That goes just wide. And the Elks playing with a little bit of fire here. They're going to tap it out of the zone. Now it's a foot race with Rusty. He's going to tap it to the boards. Taps it to his teammate. 13 seconds, though. This is killing precious time for Andover. Andover's going to carry it in with nine seconds now remaining. Eight, seven, six. And there's a shot that goes wide. Two, one, and the Elks are going to come away with a victory. Three to one. So Elk River does what they could do or what they needed to do. Now it's up to Blaine and Centennial. Again, if Blaine wins that game, they win the district. If Centennial wins that game, Elk River wins the district. So look at your District 10 website for that score. That will be posted in probably about another 40, 30 to 40 minutes. That game will be over. Either way, Elk River will be in the district tournament. It's just a matter of who wins it. Elk River comes away with the victory, 3-1 to one against Andover. Thanks for joining us.